Hi there, Chris here. Um, let's see, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, show a different pick and it picking some, a uh, couple of locks here. Over here you see the picks that I use most. Um, this one that you've seen a billion times, um, I use this about 80% of the time on all locks, just works for me. Um, and then some of these others that I use uh, as well. But generally, I use this, like I say, about 80, 80 85% of the time, just works for me. But I wanted to, to do use another pick and see what we can pick with it. Now, this is a custom pick from Rookie Locks. It's a wonderful, wonderful pick. So he makes the handles, he makes the picks, he puts it all together, the rock solid, give great feedback. So let's see what we can pick with it. I do have <laughs> a master number three here. Um, and it, it seems funny because this is the keyway going up and the number three is just like it's stamped backwards or something. Anyway, whatever. So let's see if the, the Rookster can get in here. So I'm just gonna use this Mad Bobs and do side saddle. And I have to tell you, I'm not very good with master number threes. And I'm not very good when my hands are so dry, but we'll give it a shot. I'm actually always afraid to try and pick these on camera because I'm, I so suck at it. So this isn't really, <laughs> this isn't really a good test <laughs> rookie's pick. Oh, come on, I can do this. He said, oh, I was open. See, I suck at these. So it does pick a master number three, but will it pick this? So this is, this is Zeta, wonderful padlock. It's like a dimple lock. You look in there real close. Well, maybe you can't see in there. You really can't see those guys. Um, flashlight. Suki ate it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So you can see in there, it's kind of like, they're kind of like dimples, but they're really dimple slash sliders. But same idea as a dimple, dimple lock. So, this is the bidding on the key. This is the lock, zooming out. Oh, I have a Band-Aid on my hand and I can't manipulate my camera. There we go. Oh, I screwed up the light. That's better. There we go. Um, when you pop it, the whole, this whole part comes out. So, can the old Rookster pick, pick this lock. We shall see. So I put my tensioner in there. And these are just like, um, the pins in here are in between slots in this core. So the slots are kind of like, if you look at this, if you think about this core going this way, you kind of have to move your pick 
in between these slots to get at the pins. So usually I use this little sparrows pick, but today I'm gonna to use the Rickster lock pick, custom. Thank you, Ricky. And we're gonna get in here and see if we can pop this guy with the, this pick. Well, I would have to say, yeah. <laughs> so, these are wonderful picks. He sent me two of them. The other one is, uh, I think Suki, oh, no, here it is. I was going to say St Suki stole it for a private stock. This and this, and also, he made me this very cool tensioner. Anyway, um, so... Check out Rookie Lock. He does some amazing things, makes some amazing tools and keys and <laughs> some great uh, videos on stuffing cores into, uh, like an FIC core into a lock that didn't have a slot for it, made a slot. Anyway, very cool guy. Check out Rookie Lock. Um, great guy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, leave a comment. We will see you next time.